Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you could tell, I kind of have a new setup. I decided that it'd be cool for me to do it here because it's kind of good lighting and um, whatever is going on in my video, I could possibly post up things involving it just to put on a theme. So today we are going to kick off my series called Stephanie's Stories or Steph's Stories. So this story involves a weight room accident and weights are heavy and your limbs should not be involved with a falling weight. It was back two years ago um, and at my school there's like this weight room um, you know, where you have machines involving weights and, uh, not just weights, but like, you know, leg machines and little pulley things that have like this little weight thing that goes up and down. Um, you know, it's just tons of weight stuff. Hopefully you know what that means if you're watching this. Anyways, so we were going in, um, there during PE just because and, um, so in this back, corner there's this weight thing with your legs where you kind of sit on this thing and then your legs just kind of go up and down um and then it's just kind of pulling your your hamstrings i don't even know but it just kind of works with you anyway so the weights you choose your required or wanted weight and then it kind of goes up and down and it all works with these strings and it you work out one day it got stuck and so we were actually already leaving the weight room right when it got stuck so I don't know he the teacher was already gone so I was like okay and I had a couple friends around me and then I kind of grab I kind of go in and the weights are kind of hanging on the strings like the stack of weights are down here and then the weight that stuck is like up here and then there's like this clear space. So I was trying to just put the weights down. So I go and I pull out the little thing that holds the weights, wanting them to go down. And I was like, okay, I could slowly do this. But then it shot down and I, you know, I was trying to pull it down. Anyways, my thumb got caught and luckily I have freaking awesome reflexes, guys. I have pretty good reflexes. So I kind of I, I, well, I didn't kind of, I pulled my thumb out, not in time though, it was just a little bit hit, and I don't know, I had a bruised thumb for like literally four months, like it was like bruised on the nail and I had to wait for the nail to grow off, it was like blood was like under the nail, and so I had to wait for the blood stained nail to pull off. It's okay now. I didn't go to the hospital. Maybe I should have because part two gets pretty insane. Part two of this story happens a week ago and I'm still kind of like scared because I haven't been to the weight room at my school since that freaking incident and I didn't even like, like it's crazy how we never went there last year. Anyway, so we finally went in there for the first time this year and literally like I was like back there with some new friends and that were in my PE class this year and I was telling them the actual I'm sorry I, I was telling them the story of how that happened to me and while my friend was doing it and there was three there was four of us in total and so one of my friends was actually doing it and it got stuck again and I was like, wow, just my luck. Okay, we're going to call the teacher over here because I don't have time for this for my thumb to become purple again. Okay, let's go. So we get the teacher. <laughs> And, um, anyway, so we get the teacher, and we're telling her, like, this happened, this happened to, and I was like, this happened to me before, I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> anyway, so she's like, this happens actually quite often, it's like, if you pull, if you, like, lift your feet up so high, um, that it will get stuck, and I'm like, aren't you supposed to do that? Anyway, to get the workout, so you should probably get rid of this machine. But she's, she just wanted to do it quick. Just like, literally just as I was thinking, 
because it was only like 10 pounds was on there not like a lot so she was like okay it's only 10 pounds let's just go in and I'll put it down <laughs> so she goes into bring the weight down and it hits her thumb literally it goes down and hits her thumb too and I'm like I was dying I like almost screamed I was like I was like in eternal shock I was like no way this just happened when it happened to me before I was like just my luck every time I'm gonna be in here something's gonna happen she was like cringing she was she was like 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 bent down like ah like she was like really cringing and let me tell you this when I when it happened to me everyone was like like, like, I was, like, so intimidated because everyone was like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? You should have waited for the teacher. And I'm, I'm like, because uh, uh, honestly, sometimes in these situations, you don't know what you're doing. It's just kind of actions. And, and luckily I had lunch next because I literally cried my eyes out because I was like, because I was so frustrated because my thumb hurt and it was like throbbing and then I was just crying because like I don't like it when people like ask me why I did something because sometimes you really don't know and I just was overwhelmed. Anyway, the teacher that I had in PE back then like yelled at me and I just, I was done. So now that she got herself hurt, it like it scared me and she was cringing like I was just plain because when it happened to me I was just in shock I could I was just kind of I did not want to act like I was hurt because then my teacher would see me and yell at me more and because he was like Stephanie you could have gotten hurt and I'm like yeah I know I did but I, di I didn't say it because I didn't want to act like I was hurt so I was just kind of holding my thumb anyway she was my te my teacher this year was cringing and we were like do you want us to take you to the nurse and she's like no I'm fine she actually goes to the nurse she gets an ice pack and so the next day comes and we're like oh my gosh are you okay now she has one of the thumb casts and we're like oh my god did you break your thumb and she's like I bruised it and I tore some of my bone off I was like I was, I was in shock. I was just with my friends. I was like, oh my god, that could have been my thumb that I don't even know. I didn't go to the hospital, so I did not know. I could have tore my bone and not known. I don't even know. But she still has the cast on. And so, uh, that's my story. Just the bad luck that I just possess in the weight room just slaughtered me that day. This is like a crazy, it was a crazy coincidence. And honestly, if it happens one more time, if I go to the weight room, I am done with that machine. I'm done with it right now. I honestly cannot even look over there because I like get the same memory and I'm like, holy crap. Thank you for watching. Now I'm just kind of like aware of my surroundings. I don't know. I'm freaking myself out. I hope you liked the story and are like, uh, like freaked out too about this coincidence. Luckily, my thumb is okay. It's not purple. Like this video if you like this. If you want to hear more of my crazy school stories because my school is really crazy and there are some stupid people. Terrible people. So that's more stories to tell. Alright, bye guys.